In this short video, I'm gonna walk and talk you through how to use Calendly to actually set up and schedule your meetings and appointments on autopilot. And the best bit is this is free. This does not cost you any money to set up an individual Calendly account. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in today's video. So I'm just gonna dive straight on over into my desktop and show you how to do this. So if you were just to Google Calendly or just navigate to calendly.com, you'd be taking to this homepage where you can actually sign up using your email here. Or better yet, if you sign up using your Google account, if you follow what I teach, you know uh, that I love Google, everything Google. I'm an advocate of the Google platform. So trying to keep everything simple. So if you're using Gmail, using G Drive, use G Cal, uh, Calendly will link straight into that. So if this is the first time you're here on the Calendly homepage, you can actually just sign up using your email or if you're a returning customer you can log in and then just they'll say welcome back and you just type in your your gmail uh, address so i'm just going to log back in and then it's just going to ask me welcome back just log back in with google so i'm just going to click log in with google and then i'm just automated it so it's just actually pulling through uh, my go my google logins and this is all I use it for is a simple landing page. Now, first off, you've actually got to ask yourself, do you want to give people access to books directly into your calendar? Now, in most cases, the answer is yes, this is a good idea if you are still starting out and if you have the capacity to do so. If you are growing and scaling, you might not want to let everyone book directly into your calendar. So by linking Calendly up to your Google account, your um, you're inviting people in may not be a good idea uh, but if you want to embed this on your website or if you want to offer this out as a way of automating people booking in to actually speak to you this is this is a great tool and again it is free so I'm just going to show you around quickly so this is the home page uh, availability is really important so this is where you set your non-availability if you're actually linking in with your Google Calendar if you could just go to account and then calendar connections, all you need to do is add a calendar account. I can't add another one because I'm just on one at the moment, but you can see that I've linked in my Google calendar there. All you need to do is add a calendar account and then follow their steps here. I need to upgrade, but this is the beauty about Calendly. If you just stick to one user, uh, one account, it's all free. So your availability, make sure that you actually put the availabilities that you want to actually receive calls uh, during. So as you can see, I've got the weekends out there, I've got Fridays out, and I've just got some windows of availability two to five on a Monday through to a Thursday. Now it's very easy to share this link. So anything that is linked in with your Google Calendar, if you already have another meeting, uh, that actual availability will um, will show in that. So integrations tab, uh, this you can hook up all sorts of integrations, but again, I like to keep things super simple. Go to your admin manager or let's start with account settings put in your profile put in your avatar and then get some sort of branding up there and then have a look see what you want your uh, link to display and then all you need to do here is have a look how this will present so if i view my booking page this is the end result that we want we want a calendly uh, booking account here people could just go through uh, and see your availability go through and then click on a time that suits them this is you offering up your your time and more often than not people aren't actually making those deeper relationships with uh, potential customers because they're not offering their time if you can offer your time then get them on a call if you're not making sales then ask yourself are you making calls you engaging with people first i think engagement and showing the human side of your business is key if you can do that like i say if you're at scale you may not want to link to this i link to an application form now on my website but i used to link out my calendar link but you can do this privately and then people are just going to go and book in and confirm and then type in their name and their email and then book into your calendar and this will link into your google calendar and it will create the event on autopilot you don't have to do anything you can just send out one link and even better yet what you can do is when you hit the share button for your link you can actually click make this a single use link so when you copy this link and hand it out to anyone that you want to speak to who you want to book into your calendar it's actually just one time so if they book in once you've had the call they can't use that same link again it's a neat little trick to not allow people just to keep repeatedly booking into your calendar 
So I'm going to go in and look at the settings. So if you were brand new here, you just hit create and then cr uh, click on an event type. And I would just say one to one. And then you can actually build out um, your event name, your location in here. I'm just going to show you uh, how I've done it. So it just gives you an idea of how simple this is. So if I just go to edit, so what I've done is this event is a 30 minute meeting. I've actually gone one step further. I've linked it up to Zoom. So when people click on this link, they book in their calendar. It books into my Google calendar and it populates a Zoom link. Uh, the meeting is already done and then it sends them reminders as well. So again, this is one step further. Any descriptions uh, of the event, uh, any sort of branding colors you want. And then when can people book into this event? So this is your working hours here on the page I showed you previously. Just click on which working hours. If you've got working hours or evening calls or morning calls or however you want to schedule this, this will just come up with your availability. And again, if you have got meetings already booked in or they've been manually booked in, then the non-availability will show. Uh, then before event and after event, I like to buffer some, some time, so 15 minutes and then maybe some advanced rules here. Um, I like to show the, the bookings in increments of 30 minutes and I like to push this out to one day so I, someone can't book in in an hour's time or, or a couple of hours time. I like to give that one day buffer just so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, and then you can ask some questions. You can actually put in, um, you, you can ask the fields as a name and email and then you can ask what is this reference to. You can actually set up workflows but this is tending to be in a higher paid tickets. Notifications as well. I've got uh, calendar invitations in there and you can actually turn on some email reminders and then the confirmation page. You can actually, again, you can upgrade to actually redirect them after the um, confirmation. And again, collecting payments. If you want to do any of the other functionality within Calendly, you tend to have to pay for it. But this is the way I see it going. If you can use tools and softwares and platforms that are free or cheap to run, it's, it's one thing making money online, but it's the second thing is actually managing your expenses. So I'm a great fan of Calendly. I do hand out my Calendly link if I want to speak to people. Um, but yeah, this is all free. If I was to upgrade or link into another account or have a couple of people on my team, then you'd have to start paying. But in this day and age, I see more and more micro business owners creating these um, solo brands where it's just themselves uh, using really, really simple structures like myself. I would just go and open a Calendly account so you can actually invite people and automate that system of booking into your account. So hopefully you found that helpful. It's a quick tour on how to use Calendly and how to integrate that into your Calendly account and Google and even Zoom to automate the whole process and it's entirely free. Now Calendly is one of the select few tools that I use to grow and run my own online business. And if you like, you can head over to timpeakman.com forward slash tools and download a checklist of the short list of, of tools that I use to run this business. It's, I don't use tons of tools, but I scrutinize every tool that I see. Um, and then I have added the tools that I use in a checklist. So you can download that today and just have a look through what I'm using and to see if you need to use it or to see if you're already using it. Uh, just to give you some ideas of how to structure your online business. And I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.